Hello there and welcome back to my channel. In my town, the old graveyard is really beautiful with lots of statues and interesting graves. But the newer graves are, in my opinion, kind of boring. There's usually just a rock with a name on it and sometimes someone placed a small bird or an angel or a cross or something else on top of it. But they usually look the same. What I want to do is make my kind of angel. And uh, I will do it in stoneware clay. The first thing I do is make a pinching pot. This is going to be the body. It is going to be a kind of big fat angel, but I like to have an angel looking a little bit different than the plain ones, the usual ones. I shape the body so it looks like an egg. After this, I start making the head. So I roll out a piece of clay and cut the piece I need. And I roll it, and then I use one of my tools to make the neck. Because this angel is going to sit outside all year around, it's really important that I slip and score so that the different pieces really glues together. Otherwise, the whole thing might just break. I use one of my tools to attach the head even better. You could of course use some other clay if you want to, but if you want to have something sitting outside, even in the winter, then stoneware is the best clay. Next up are the legs. Again, I use a tool to bend the knees. I try to make them the same size. And first of all, I check what it should look like if I attach them right now. So I make two exactly the same legs. Once again, it's really important to use some glue. So the slip I use is actually the same clay. It's also stoneware clay. Time to attach the legs. If you make something to have outside, it's important that you don't have too much things sticking out because they break easily. So I try to make it a little bit more compact. Now I start making the arms. Usually when I do something that is meant to be symmetrical, I do both things at the same time and I use a little bit more clay than I think I need. It's easier to cut away than to add. So then I test out the arms and when I think it looks okay, I just attach them. I think it's great that you can actually make something for your loved ones. And this angel is going to sit on my grandmother's and granddad's gravestone. I put some slip on the arms and attach them both at the same time. And this angel is going to hold its knees. 
This also makes it a little bit more compact and the risk of breaking is a little bit smaller. I then dip my fingers and start smoothening out all the rough edges on the angel and adjust the hands and the feet. No angel without wings. I need to make some. So I roll out a piece of slab and then I cut it into two pieces and then I stack them together. Because I want the wings to be symmetrical, it's easier to cut both wings at the same time. This way I know they will look the same. I remove the excess material and I check the wings. This angel is going to look like a mixture of an angel and a bumblebee, but that's what I want. So I slip and score again and attach the wings to the back of my angel. I do some finishing touches with a tool so that it really sticks together and smoothen out the edges. Now the wings are almost done and the angel is almost done. I make some fingers for my angel and some toes. and of course do the last finishing touches. I want to make some lines on these wings also, otherwise they are a little bit too plain. After this, I just make a color for my angel. It doesn't have any clothes, but just by making a color it looks like it has a shirt on it. So I roll out a small piece and attach it. And after this it's time for my angel to dry for about one or two weeks before I bisque fire it. I bisque fire my angel in about 900 degrees centigrade. And after that, it's time to put some glazing on. It's now summer in Finland and it's really beautiful. I have a glazing almost cream white and I use this for my angel. I don't dip it, I use a brush and I paint the glazing on. I leave the head, the hands and the feet without glazing. Otherwise everything is covered in the same glaze. A really important thing is uh, the base should be clean from glazing. Otherwise it will stick into your kiln when you burn it. This clay is, as I said, a stoneware clay and it's also a raku clay. So when I burn it, it will almost turn into stone. And that's really important if you live in places like Finland, where the temperatures in the winter can reach about minus 30 degrees Celsius. It's really beautiful, as you can see. This is my hometown with my church. But uh, if you have an angel outside in, for instance, earthenware, it will just break. Now, my angel is finished and it's summer. It's time for me to put it on my grandma's and granddad's gravestone.
And it's also time for me to say thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed my video, please remember to subscribe. Now the angel then. This is the final angel. It will now sit on this gravestone for many years and I'm really happy with it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.